I am Dr. Santosh Kumar Mandal. I am currently practicing as a consultant rheumatologist. I am attached with uh, Narayana Health, Ramina Tagore International Institute of Cardiac Sciences at Mukundapur, Kolkata. I have completed my super speciality from Christian Medical College, Vellore, under the supervision of Dr. Devashish Danda, sir. And later on, I was attached with CMC Vellore as assistant professor in Department of Rheumatology. The management of rheumatoid arthritis uh, includes one, uh, managing with uh, drugs. Second is managing with uh, physical therapies. And third is the surgical management. The primary goal of treatment one is to reduce the suffering or the pain of the patient. Second is to improve the physical function of the patient so, so that he can perform his daily activities and his economic activities without any problem. Third is to prevent further joint damage and deformity of the joints. Fourth is to prevent progression of the disease so that it doesn't involve the other organ system of your body. So, the medical treatment of the uh, rheumatoid arthritis includes use of uh, painkillers or uh, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory uh, drugs or NSAIDs we call. Second is use of uh, steroids which are usually uh, used in early uh, stage of the disease when we need to rapidly control the disease for usually for a short period of time or like over three to six months of, of the early disease and use of conventional synthetic uh, disease modifying anti rheumatic drugs or the demand therapies and the use of biological drugs or the advanced therapy for control of the disease if the patients are not responding to conventional synthetic demands so the common side effect with these drugs are one they can cause nausea they can cause uh, stomach uh, upset increased incidence of vomiting liver damage and the increased risk of uh, infection also so these are the things which we monitor when we are using the uh, DMARDS or the conventional DMARDS therapy. If the patients are not responding to conventional DMARDS therapy, we switch over to biological drugs therapy or the advanced blood therapy, which works by specifically blocking certain uh, inflammation, inflammatory markers or cytokines, which leads to inflammation and joint damage like uh, TNF alpha blockers or tumor necrosis alpha uh, blockers. So these uh, biological DMARDS are faster acting drugs. Uh, but they are very costly and uh, prior to using biological demands, we need to assess whether the patient is at a risk of infection like other factors, whether he is having other comorbidities like diabetes or whether he is having any heart disease and all, all or if he has a previous history of any tuberculosis or he has a history of uh, any malignancy in the past. So depending upon his uh, these risk factors, we assess which biological demands can be used for him. So similar to the synthetic DMARDS, the biological DMARDS also increase the risk of uh, infection. There is increased uh, risk of uh, liver damage. Uh, so all these things has to be monitored when even the patient is on biological DMARDS. Other than these, the therapists include physical and occupational therapy. Exercising of the joints is very essential. These are as important as using medication for patients with rheumatoid arthritis. Hot and cold therapy can be used in the intermittent period when the patient is having some exacerbation of joints. And certain modifications of the daily activities uh, depending upon uh, the deformities of the joints can be used like uh, special handled spoons, uh, like use of uh, special uh, instruments or uh, to, uh, special instruments so that he can perform his daily activities better. Or uh, So these all can be used uh, as an occupational therapy. Last option is surgical therapy. Surgical therapy can be used if the larger joints are involved or damaged like in case of uh, knee joint if severe damage can uh, we can use a total knee replacement, hip replacement can be used if there is any tendon ruptures or subluxations then tendon uh, repair surgeries can be done. Mm -hmm.